Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. In the last episode, we followed, like, this treasure hunt thing, and we ended up in this little cave here, which is kind of like a mini dungeon, because I kind of remember this place. I have no idea how I traverse it, but I do remember this place to an extent. Um, and I believe here I'm going to get some item that lets me push, um, and I didn't mean to grab that for I would have loved to, um, caught it in a bottle, but that's okay. Um... Um, I probably need an empty bottle for other stuff, so it's okay. Um, yeah, I'll get an item that lets me push, push things when I'm small. Uh, really? Four bugs? This is a mini boss? Okay. I guess this is, a, is this mini boss music? I can't tell. I, I, I don't know if this, this is like mini, mini, mini boss. Goodbye. And what is this treasure? It is da 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 da. Uh, wow, I already got it. Okay, yeah, this is a really, really mini dungeon. Really, really mini. Is there anything else I can do in here? I need flippers, don't I? Yep, the rest of this dungeon is only accessible if you. Uh, could I have gotten that if I have the boomerang? I doubt it. All right, whatever. I'll come back when I have flippers. And I have to go through all this to get to. To turn back to being big, don't I? Stupid cats. Alright, I'll meet you back where something important happens. Alright, well now, now I can push these! Ta da 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 And I bet, I, I bet, in there, uh, in that hole up there, is the book I'm looking for. How do I get up there again? Oh, wait. The, the ladder. Sorry. For some reason, I thought I had to go back out and back in to shrink, but I'm already shrunk. All right, um, yep, there's the book. He's reading it. Hey, you! This is preventing the other Minish from living in their house. How do I make it fall? Do I just run on it? How do I make it fall? It's a bit distant. Maybe I should do some cleaning. Is that a hint? Oh, uh, I see what I do. Make a clone of myself to make myself heavier. Da-da-da-da! Is that, is that not it? Is that, is that not it? Maybe that wasn't it. Oh, that's the book! I see it! And I didn't mean to fall. I see exactly what I do. I'll meet you back up there. Alright, hey, dude! What?! What?! Hey, ho, hey. I turn, I need to turn, dropping it below. Actually, I was just on it! I was literally just on it! What the hell? What more do I- Ugh, Wow. I don't know why that took so long to happen, but I guess I had to be standing on it for a certain period of time. Alright, well, whatever. I guess I got to be big again and pick that book up. But how do I walk past the book? Um... Oh, like, around it. Okay. Didn't look like I could. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the book. Found your book, dude! You're welcome! Oh, look, you found it. Can I ask you to return the book for me, lad? Yeah, obviously, because we know you're not gonna do it. You're all, you're too busy doing your oh so important whatever the heck it is you're doing. Instead of, you know, doing things that will help save your stupid world from destruction. Alright, well you look at that, it's circulated. But Cora, you deserve metal for this. But I'm not gonna give you any because we don't have any medals. But instead, we'll just return these books. Is there another book? There is another one. History of Masks. Let me guess. The the mayor. Oh okay. Uh, this is- I don't mind the idea of what I'm doing, it's just really frustrating that the only reason I have to do this, per story reason, is because everyone else is too lazy. Uh, you want a book, History of Mass? You say I checked it out. I guess- oh, did I? Wow. We have a great mayor here. Um, I'm gonna knock down your mask, so hope you don't mind. Like, I- I just- I'm literally breaking your masks. And I have over 300 rupees, so when I'm done here, I gotta buy that boomerang that I was, uh, and I couldn't afford in the last episode. So, let's shrink. And I, I, I did that because I saw those things on the side. I was like, those are planks to walk on. There's gotta be something behind him. So, yeah. I broke his mask, so don't probably won't need that book anymore, will ya? Clutching a book, we saw him go. The chest was open, over the minish woods was blocked. What? Lakeside cabin? Oh. Oh, you're working on my map. Thanks. Okay. 
And they went to see, they came out really quite far. All right. I didn't need to do that. That's just kind of a hint of where to go. That's fine. I, I guess I would never have thought to go there. So, all right. I'm going to go buy the boomerang, and then I'll meet, meet you over there. So, first, I'll meet you by the boomerang thing. I'd like to buy this boomerang. By that, I, mean, I just want to walk out with it. Oh, I can't even try to rob him. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> you can do that in Link's Awakening. It's fun. <laughs> by fun, I mean you die for doing it. But it's still fun. All right, boomerang. I have no idea if the item, this item is useful in the slightest, but we have it now. I bet there's some enemies can, that can only be hurt by it, so it should be helpful. All right, so let's go uh, somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. I'll figure it out, though. I found this enemy here. He's not important, but I'm showing it anyway. He's just going to drop some rupees, probably, because that's all the enemies ever drop. Uh, yep, 100 rupees. Cool. Okay, what I think I need to do, that cabin that appeared on the map, I think that's the area I was at before. That I, like, it was that house, you know, that house with the thing and the stuff that I couldn't do anything with. I think now that I have the power bracelets, now I finally can do something in there. So, that's where I'm going. I'll meet you there. And the book is suddenly on his shelf. Um, do I hit it? Can't be that easy. No? Okay, I probably have to go around. Now that I have the power brace, I bet I can move that, but I guess I don't know what that would do. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll find out. Alright, here we are. Let us push it. Whee! It's a staircase. Now I can walk up it and do this. Yeah, yeah. I figured it out! I'm, I'm gonna turn big again and come back here. I'll see you there. Yay! I got your last freaking book for ya! None of this would have ever happened if the, st the stupid Minish didn't build their house in a library bookshelf! Like seriously, this whole situation would not have happened if they that just wasn't a thing. Why did they build their house there, guys? Why? Pe that's like saying, you can't check out books because you'll break our house. You shouldn't have built your freaking house there. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. All right, well, now that we did that crap, let's see if we can actually climb the bookshelf now. And we can! Here's the blue one. The first, the last one we got, of course, is the first one we have to climb up. They did that on purpose. They did that on purpose. And here's the other two. Ta-da! We did it! Yay! Maybe put ladders on all your books next time? If you're gonna, if you're gonna build your house in a stupid shelf like this, Put ladders in all the books, or build a ladder between the books. Just a thought, just a thought. Or, you know, just push this frickin' book inward, and that would solve the problem of not being able to reach his house. What if someone checked out the book that has his house in it? This was not well thought out at all! <laughs> okay. Something about Jotari, we need to visit the Temple of Droplets. Yes, we do. Uh, stand on the clover in front of me. All right, look, no, hey, sorry, right there, like I told you. Now open secret mystery panel. Huh? I didn't get the fuse kids those with you! Pass the trial. Wow. Stupid old man. You just smacked your hip on something? You were on my head. No, you didn't. All right, um, well, now we're in another one of those mini dungeons. These ones, okay? Or is it? No, it's these two. Okay. All right. So now that we're in this dungeon, th isn't this the same dungeon? No, it just looks extremely similar. All right. I know how I crossed that, but let's look down here first. There's nothing down here. Gus jar. I'm gonna suck this mushroom because from afar. All right, and then. Okay. Fairy, I didn't mean to k touch you. I meant to catch you in my bottle, but it's okay, I guess. Ooh, um, oh, I, you throw your mouth at me. Yeah, that's smart. That's real smart, dude. I think they'd be much harder if they didn't do that. Ooh, five rupees. I must get that. Die, 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 die. Yeah, those would be much harder if they didn't throw their mouths. And yeah, green kinstone. 
And what is this? It is flippers! Mm, yes, yes, why it makes all sense now. Doesn't play used the library. His name is Library. Sh swims the treble droplets. We can now swim! That opens up so much for us! Oh my god! They add so much in Zelda games that it's only accessible over water. It sucks. By sucks, I mean it's great when you finally can do it, and I can't get that till I have the lantern. Which is the item you get in the temple droplets, so we'll get that soon. Anything down here that's fun? Anything at all? This goes out into this water! I swim really fast out here. So, alright, cool, now I know how to get back in there. Or maybe that's the way I was supposed to get to go out. But I kind of want to see what else is in here. I don't know if there is anything else, to be honest. Nope, there was absolutely nothing left in here. Okay. Oh my god, where should I look first now that I have these flippers? There's so many freaking areas I can go now. I tell you what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go straight to the Temple of Droplets. There's a lot of secrets I want to find before I do that, so... Um... Yeah, I believe this is what they wanted me to do to get out, so... How do I turn back to being big, though? Um... Oh! The library, that's what this is for. That's what this is for. Just for fun, what if- what happens if I had done this? What if the vase was like that, when I got to this point? Would I have been stuck forever? Very interesting. I guess, why would you ever do that? But, you can. So, alright. Let's figure out what the heck I'm doing. I feel skinstones with Sturgeon, the librarian dude. What do you get me? Something in Minish Woods, of course. It's a weird view, it's not like centered on screen. Oh, it's a hole! Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. I found something! I don't know what this is, but I couldn't reach it before because it didn't have flippers. Um... I just kinda just wanna see what it is. It's three little caves in Minish Woods. I'm finally doing what I said I was going to do in the last episode, which was just walk around and search for secrets. I guess I was kind of doing that in the last episode, but I ended up finding things I was supposed to be finding. As opposed to secrets, which is what I want to be finding right now. And this ice sucks! Would the boomerang help me here? Because if it does, that'd be great. And the boomerang actually kills things in this game. Great. Boomerang just paralyzes things in other games. I guess they want it to be different from the bow. Or to make it like... Make the boomerang just a pre- like a thing that's not as good as the bow. But in this, it's very- they're just very different items, I guess. Whee! Okay. Um... Da, 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 da. I don't know what to say here. This is just very precarious ledge. A heart piece! Sweet! And a red kinstone! Da 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 da! Sweet! Can I, is there an easy way to leave here? If I fall, do I go back to the start? No, I don't. Darn it. That's lame. Oh, that's really lame. Alright, let's see what's in the middle one. It is a single trap with a blue kinstone. Woo! I like that one. I like that one. I didn't like the one on the, the left. How about the one on the right? Bugs. Okay. And yeah, those little cracks, they fall if you stand on them too long, so... That's dangerous. So just try- I guess don't walk on them at all. And what's this one? Another blue kinstone! Woohoo! Yeah, I didn't like that one on the left, but I guess I got a heart piece, so I guess it's okay. Cool! Yeah, I love finding secrets like that! Awesome! Um, yeah, I guess I'll be looking for more. I'm in Minish Woods right now. There's gotta be more stuff in Minish Woods, so that's why I'm here. And there's also some kinstones I wanna grab, or like, kinstone results, so to speak. Huh? How long has this been here? Okay, I found a heart piece, guys! Um, in the Minish Village. Um, is, does this bring me anywhere? I knew there was water in the Minish Village, I guess I didn't know I hadn't even been here yet, though. Wow, okay. Uh, how about you? Good job finding this place. There are many people who visit me here. You're not gonna reward me or anything for finding you? That's not very nice. I got a heart piece out of it, but there's no- there was no point in coming here in terms of flippers, but that's alright. We got something! Got a heart piece. That's those are the things I'm looking for, so I'm glad I found it. Alright, I'll keep looking for stuff. 
Alright, is there anything I can do over here? Um, is this a cave I can go through? No, it's just the place where water spouts out from. No, that didn't really get me anywhere. It just makes traversing Minish Woods so much easier. That's all it really did. Because now I can go through those water puddles, so... Oh, and... Oh, wait, I can already do that. Never mind. This hole was a, this hole appeared from a green kinstone. It, it is a blue kinstone! Woohoo! It's weird. I, I feel like I've never had a problem with blue or red kinstones. It's green ones, and yet... Green ones reward me with blue ones! So... It's weird. Whatever. Like I said, blue ones are key items, so they're more important. Alright, anything else in Minish Woods? I'll let you know if I find anything. Ah, a chest! Rupees! And I'm pretty sure I've been over here before, but... Great blue kinstone. Okay. Um... My god, look at it. Why are flippers so freaking good in, like, all Zelda games? It, like, in every Zelda game where you can't swim and you suddenly get an item where you can swim, you can, like, traverse more than half of the map. <sighs> Alright, well, I'll keep looking for stuff. Oh, I found a random guy to fuse blue kinstones with. I don't know if I've been to this house before, but it... It was just right outside Minish Woods. Um, wherever that's appearing, there's a bomb wall I haven't bombed. So, what? Excuse me? Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's right above me. Cool. All right, well, let's go see where that is. And I'll also bomb up in that wall that's there. Oh, wait. It just was not bombed in the cutscene. That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's climb this beanstalk. Where the heck does this lead us? Oh my god. Am I- is, is this the way to, like, the next- Oh, no, it's a heart piece. Okay. Because, like, the last level is in the cloud tops. Spoilers. The real Palace of Winds, um, that as the wind element is in the clouds. So I thought this was leading us there, but I guess it isn't. And I- oh, I guess I can hold more than 500. How many can I hold, then? I found a harpies, that's good. And that's all that's up here? Alright, cool. That was amazing kinstone to get. Wow. I mean, I feel like that being a blue one, I mean, I guess that did lead me to a harpies. Harpies is a key item, I would I would imagine. So I guess that makes sense to be a blue one. Alright, cool. I'm really glad I'm doing this, because I'm, I'm finding stuff. Alright, I'll let you know when something uh, more, more important things happen. What's in here? I've never been over here, but oh my god, a single piece of heart just sitting right here. Wow, that's amazing. This is one of the first areas of the game. I could have gotten here at any time, guys. Almost at any time. I've never been- how have I never been here before? This is ridiculous. And 200 mysterious shells. Maybe I should start using these shells just so I don't, like, you know, reach capacity and not be able to hold anymore. So, I don't know, maybe I should do that figurine thing. Yay, yes, thanks, Cezzle. You don't need to talk about that anymore. Uh, Tingle! Why is Tingle here? Let's go talk to him, I guess. Tingle, what do you want? The green guy, are you perhaps a fairy? Well, I knew it. Tingle wants to be a fairy, too. Kinstones, but if you can be like each of my brothers, very, very good. I know exactly what the, what the, what the... Oh, they're all green ones? Well, luckily, that's the one green one I have! I'm officially completely out of green ones. Yeah, all of that, all of the Tingle and his brothers open up one of these four trees. Once you open up all four of them, the, it opens up something. I don't know offhand why you need to open up all four in order to get to the right place, but I don't know. And also, I find it weird in the Kinstone cutscenes, if there's anything that you haven't, like, there's that, there's a, there was an unbombed block there. I guarantee you I've bombed that block already. So... I think it's funny that... So that basically means that those are, like, set-in-stone cutscenes that they make beforehand. It doesn't, like, switch to that scene over there and look at exactly the way it is at this moment. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna keep looking for stuff. Oh, I never went down here! Uh, this looks suspicious. No? Those were all real? Okay, cool! Well, we have 600 rupees now, maybe we should buy the... Quiver. The bigger quiver, because, you know, why not? Um, it's there. I might as well buy it. Uh, let's go do it. I'm gonna, I'll, let's go back to Hyrule Town. Let's buy the quiver. And maybe now that I bought the boomerang, something else is in its spot for buying. Who knows? Um, 
We got- there is something. What is that? What is this? Big bomb bat! Oh, I'd rather have that! I'd rather buy that. I'd rather hold more bombs and arrows. Yay! How many bombs can I carry now? Uh, 30. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll buy the quiver next when I have 600 again. Because I'm not gonna- because I think those are like the most important things you could buy in the game in my opinion. Um, so alright. Uh, so, let's go somewhere. I don't know where to go next. But I'll, I'll figure it out. Have I done this yet? I went back to Mount Krennel because I feel like there were some areas I couldn't reach before here and that I did the wrong ones. Let's see. One, two, three. Give me three apart. Oh, so I need to do the very edges of all of them. Okay. Darn, I thought it would be a little more complicated than that. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember if I've done this yet. I, I know there were some areas in Mount Krennel I couldn't reach before. No, I definitely have not done this yet! Got a hard piece and I found one of the secret masters! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. 50 rupees! Woohoo! I'm just, I hope you don't mind that I'm just gonna raid your house. <laughs> Will you still teach me a new sword technique? I'm a true master sergeant of higher. I'm a gray blade! Do you, what, is right here? Yes! Thank you! What do I learn from you? Roll attack! R roll up with that and R, and second, as soon as you get up, scream hiya! <laughs> That's the important part! You have to make sure you swing, you, you yell hiya! Otherwise, otherwise it does not work. Greatly possession is erg possession. Yeah. It's like a, ro a rolling attack. I, I didn't see yink, ye see uh, Link yell hiya. Wait. What the heck? Wait, what? Oh, it's very timing based. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever use that, to be honest. Because it's kind of unreliable. Once you do it, you're like, you're shooting in a straight line. I mean, it's a cool idea, but like, I don't know. I can't see myself using it for like a certain, like a boss or a difficult enemy or something. So yeah, I'm glad I went back here. That was very good. <laughs> I knew there was something I couldn't get here before, but I wasn't sure what it was. I guess that was it. I'm gonna, I'll keep looking around here just in case there's more. Hey, what's on this ledge here? No bomb throw. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know. I guess I haven't found. Th I didn't find this. What is this? Um, the fairy found, but nothing's here. Uh, hello, fairy. Hello. Oh wait, did that actually work? I was- I was actually kidding when I threw that in there. Is that- was that supposed to be hint, no bomb throwing? Did you throw the golden bomb in the spring or the silver bomb? Uh, Neither. I'm an honest person. You are honest. I'm a remorse to honest adventure. OH MY GOD I CAN GET MORE BOMBS! 50 BOMBS?! <laughs> I can carry more bombs than arrows now! <laughs> Maybe I should have bought the quiver. <laughs> Oh well, now we are 50 freaking bombs! Okay, I can guarantee you I will never run out of bombs now. Like, that's insane. Like, ridiculous. You do not need that many bombs. Um, I'm gonna keep looking for stuff, though. If I found that, well... This just means I, th I need to explore more as I'm going through places. Because there was nothing preventing me from getting that before. That was just something I flat out missed. I guess it was at this point I was just like, avoid the boulders, avoid the boulders. I wasn't thinking about where exactly I was going. So, and then I'm back here. Was there anything I couldn't do here yet? I don't remember. Ugh. I'll find stuff. Did I ever go up here? What is this? A random lever. Oh, I opened this bridge. Okay. I, I guess that was useful. Well, all right, I did something, guys. I, I, did, I did something. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was important, but I did it. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well see what the tingle door opened. Pretty sure you need to open all four before, like, anything even happens. But I'll check anyway. Uh, what is- Oh, there's a Kenso piece in here. Let's see, yep. I press this and I light this torch. You have to light all four torches for the main door to open. 
So, so yeah. I guess he could do get something for each individual one. So that's good. All right. Yeah, I'd left Mount Crono by the way because I couldn't find anything else. If there's something else I missed, I guess someone could let me know. I don't mind people letting me know if there's something they thought of that I missed. Um, I don't mind that at all. Um, because while I do like to find things myself, I also don't mind people telling me where stuff is. And speaking of this thing, I never broke this, whatever this is. Luckily, I have 50 freaking bombs. Like, 50 freaking bombs. My god. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten 50 bombs before in this game. Veil Falls. Um, could I actually be here right now? I know I'm not supposed to go super far. Oh, I got a heart piece. Thanks. Uh, that's important. Um, I dropped a bomb over there because I felt like it. Not because I accidentally pressed A. And what's this? Look at the size of the waterfall. Ah, uh, yeah. I need a gold, I need a gold kinstone, yeah. Yep, that's, we're gonna go there after we beat the water, the water temple. And then do a side quest to get that gold kinstone. Um, this is just Hyrule Castle, right? Is there anything in the gardens that I could go that I didn't, that I couldn't do before? I bought a green kinstone, that's good. Oh hey, a shrinky portal that's hidden in a tree. I knew there was something. I don't know where this shrinky portal will lead me or if I can even go anywhere with it, but let's look around. Oh hey, right here. Ah! It's someone's house, okay. What do you have? A visitor, I don't have much thing, okay, of kinstones, just a green one. I don't even have it. That's all it was? Just a guy with a green kinstone piece? Uh, I feel a little gypped. Is that all there is? Oh no, it's not! I can swim in here, but that doesn't lead me anywhere. Just because you can swim in there doesn't mean it gets you anything. Okay. Anything else? Okay, what is the point of all this? I'm in a spot that I clearly couldn't reach while not being small because that guard is blocking my way. So what's the point of being over here if there's nothing over here? There's nothing at all, guys! Nothing! The only thing I think that might be over here at some point is if a kinstone piece allows something to be over here. That's all I can think of, so wow, that, okay, that one was a waste, unfortunately. Hey, if I want to Tingles Brothers. Uh, what's his name? Yeah, let's try it. Kinstones. Yes, a green one. Ankle. Wow, the one green kiss that I have. I'm okay. <laughs> Maybe the Hyrule Castle Garden wasn't completely worthless, because that's what I found in there. I found that one green kinstone. So, okay, I guess that was useful, sort of. That'll probably just get me another red or blue kinstone in there, which I guess is fine, but... All right, cool. I really wish I could find more, of the more green ones more easily, because I feel like you use them so much in this game. They really should be more plentiful, but oh well. Alright, not sure I'm gonna go next, but I will keep looking. Oh, I can see what the Goron is up to. I'm pretty sure, like, nothing's different. Like I said, it's just a deeper cave. Yeah, he needs a friend. He needs a Goron friend in order to go forward. So, you know, he might as well stop wasting his energy, because he's not gonna be able to break it by himself. So, whatever. Can I fuse Kinstones with you? Yes, I can. What's up, bud? You wanna really fuse Kinstones? It's a blue one! Yeah, I have this one! Yay! All right, so what is you? What is Eeny? <laughs> is the other guy's name me? Oh my God, it's the Goron one! I was literally just there. Hmm, no, it's no good. I can't break it by myself. Is it gonna magically get a second Goron up here? Yep, it is. I had a strange feeling a fellow Goron was in need. Hello, Goro. I'm coming to help you. What a coincidence! I was literally just talking about how I needed someone to help me. And yay! They can now break through it, but again, the cave's gonna go even deeper, and I believe now they need yet another one to go even further than that. It's a continuous string of events. Perfect fit. How about the other guy? Yes. And he's also, he was meanie, like I said, but his is green, so we don't really care. And I don't think I've gotten this yet. So let's see what's in this Molmitz cave. Ta da! It is some like likes, probably. And a spider. There's no way I could have avoided that, but that's okay. Okay, what's the best way to approach these? Like this? 
Okay, that was a really disappointing moment, Kid. It was literally just 40 rupees in there. One of a, one of which was a like-like. Yeah, that was a lame cave, bro. Hey, have you ever gone up here? As small? I don't think I have. Ah, hey! Look where you're walking, mailman! <laughs> I'm kidding, you probably didn't see me. Hey, heart piece! No, I have not been here yet! I've absolutely not been here yet. Yeah! Piece of heart! Woo! -hoo! Oh, well, that was good. Glad I did that. Also, if I never did that while small, I probably also never w did anything else while small over here, including being in the bread shop. Does being in the bread shop while small do anything for me? Oh, yes, it does. Oh! I see what I have to do here. I, I did it. Okay. What's in here? Ooh! I see you can minish house. Our living quarters. The bread Wheaton makes is the, the best. His name is Wheaton. <laughs> Sometimes you have to sit back and appreciate things like that. I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> All right, well, clearly there's a treasure chest, but you have to get it from this side. So let's get it, and I think that'll be the end of today's episode. Um, 100 rupees! Woohoo! We just love bread. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I guess that's all that got me. Oh, <clears throat> found I got a few red kinstones with. That's good. Oh, guys, I apologize about these episodes. I have no idea how long they are because I've been cutting so much out. I've just been jumping from place to place doing a little bit at a time. And what the heck? I think it's a portal. Let's go see it. What the heck? What's the worst that'll happen? Where will, what could it possibly do? Where could it possibly warp us? I can actually fly to my house now because I actually got that wind crest, which I could have gotten way near the beginning of the game, but whatever. And here it is. And we are in some random person's house. Okay. I didn't mean to play that. I meant to open this treasure chest. Green kinstone. Another green kinstone. Okay. Anything else? Uh. Goodness, really good visitors. Tell me, how did you get here? Hey, your buddy who I fused Grud Kinstones with ma made a portal appear to your house. I saw a ghost thing called a granddad. You're not going to mention the fact that there's some random guy in your house? Okay. Can't believe old Gregel is sti- Gregel. <laughs> He's looking so healthy. I, I think I see what I do. I have a green Kinstone. I think I have to suck that ghost uh, Luigi's Mansion style. Got it. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at the colors come back. How can I ever thank you? I believe he was possessed by a monster, though. You can thank me by giving me money or something. I don't know. It's me. Thank you, my boy. You saved me. 100 shells. <laughs> Yay. I really should trade some of those in. And it's saying the same things. Okay. I believe I'm in of the town. Like, let me look at my map. Yeah, I'm in the sky area, the cloud tops. Um, but they, they're they not going to let me walk out the house because I'm not supposed to be in this area yet. So, I really like that. You can make, it's just a secret. You could portal, teleport to a place that you're technically not supposed to get to yet. You just can't leave to access the rest of the area. So, that's a really cool idea to access secrets. Um, so, yeah, that really didn't give me anything all that important, but it was some stuff. So, regardless... I guess I'll end this episode here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time, where the next episode will, I don't know, maybe make progress, or maybe I'll actually just keep looking for secrets, because I know there's more stuff I missed, so. Because I keep finding stuff. That's how I know. So, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time, where I think I'm finding something right now. Hold that thought. Um... Yep, I'm finding something right now, guys. Never mind, we're not ending this episode yet. We are. We will end it after I see what's in that place. Uh, I see there's something. There's a house over here. What's in this guy's house? A guy? Is he just a kinstone guy? Okay. He's a, a red one. Okay. 
I, I definitely want to fuse all the red and blue ones because those are important. Where is it? Oh! Syrup the Witch! Is she gonna suddenly sell a new type of potion now? Is that it? Red potion almost finished, so it's so very special. Hee 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 hee. Red potion. I always thought blue was better than red. But maybe that's it's a di different Zelda games. Oh well. Luxor around now. Okay, cool. So I'll go see what that is at some point. Oh, uh, there was also something over here. I forgot what it was, like a little ledge I could climb up or down or something. Um, yep. Before I couldn't do this because I didn't have flippers, but now I do have flippers. Mwah! That leads me to over here, which I've been to already. In other words, there was absolutely no purpose to- Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Da-da-da-da! Okay, now- I started a second in a second real hard! Heck yeah! So yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. And... Yeah, maybe we'll actually progress, or maybe we'll find more of this stuff. Regardless, we will find out then. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and rock on.